here's a geometry proof. They want us to prove that triangle A W A Y. I'll do this in I'll highlight this one. W A Y, that one right there, is congruent to a triangle N Y A N Y A, that one right there. Given the things that they've told us up here, angle one and angle two are congruent, so let's go ahead and draw our line in there, or draw our congruent angle symbol so we know that. That's how I do that. And WY and AN are equal. WY, this huge one right here, so I'll put a tick mark there, WY and AN are equal. So I want to prove that those two highlighted triangles are equal. Let's come up with a game plan first. Well, I already have an angle, and I have a side. So I need to either find another angle, in which case I could use angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. Or I need to come up with another side, in which case I can, and it has to be a specific side if I come up with another side, so that I could use um, side angle side so I'm looking at this and thinking to myself well what do I have well the first thing to think about is the most obvious thing do I have any lines that are shared by both triangles yeah I do right down there at the bottom that's called the reflexive property so that right there is equal to itself a y equals a y and so I can, because of that's true, I can see that I'll have a side, an angle, and a side. That's on that one. And a side, an angle, and a side on that one. So I can prove it by side, angle, side. That's my game plan. There's a couple different ways that teachers might have you do it. You can either do a, a T-chart where you're putting the statements down, or you can do a flow, I think is what they call it, the other teachers. So... Um, here are your statements and here are your reasons. So my statement one is angle one is congruent to angle two. That's given. Uh, WY is congruent to angle, I'm sorry, to AN. That's also given. And then I'm going to write AY is congruent to AY. And that's by the reflexive property. Excuse my writing, it's really bad. And then now I can say at the end that WAY is congruent to triangle NYA. And that's by side, angle, side. And I'm done. If you want to do the flow reasoning, let's try that. Let's erase this and try that. So I think what the flow, what they would do is they would say something like angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. given something like this w y is congruent to a n and they'll do like I'm trying to remember given and then a y is congruent to a y by reflexive reflexive and then they say, um, somehow they put like side angle side in there as well. So I probably should have written these the other direction so that you can see it. I, I think some teachers that, that I, I've never taught it this way, but some teachers that use this, they, it's kind of like they let you just almost like an art project that you're doing. And so there's side there's angle and there's side and then you say imply triangle W A Y is congruent to triangle N Y A and in parentheses you write side angle side something like that sometimes they don't even as long as you have it written over here somewhere you don't even have to write side angle side but consult your teacher to find out what method that they prefer that you show